guys. Today I'm coming at you with running backs. We got Carryon Johnson, who's a sophomore, and Cameron Petway, who is a sophomore. Carryon Johnson is coming in at six foot nothing, 211 pounds, and Cameron Petway clocks in at six foot, 240 pounds. Um, last year, both Cameron Petway, Carryon Johnson, and everyone else that touched the football and ran the football for Auburn. Uh, took Auburn to be the number eight rushing team in the in the nation, which is pretty darn good for our starting running back at the beginning of the year, Carry on Johnson, going down with an injury against, I believe it was Mississippi State. So Carry on Johnson started every game from Clemson as as the first game of the year to Mississippi State, where he finished with just three carries for 21 yards, and that's where. Cam Petway came in and, and took the reins and and uh, came in with 169 yards on 39 touches. Um, with everybody running the football, we finished the season with oh, – I'm sorry. With Carryon Johnson and Cameron Petway running the football, they finished the season with a combined 2,258 rushing yards total and 18 touchdowns total. Uh, Cameron Petway came in with the most rushing yards at 1,238 and seven touchdowns, whereas Carryon Johnson came in with 1,020 total yards and 11 touchdowns, 895 of those yards coming on the ground. Um, <clears throat> Carryon Johnson looked great at the beginning of the year. Uh, I mean, it doesn't get much better than his touchdown run against Arkansas State where he juked and spun around the entire Arkansas, Arkansas State team and took it to the house by jumping over another player. Um, with Cameron Johnson and Cameron Petway, I do believe we have the best one-two punch in the league. And then you add in uh, Cam Martin and our freshman running back, his name is slipping my mind, with um, Malik being out for the season as a, with a medical red shirt. Um, I do believe we're going to have the best – Russian offense in the league, and if not the best, is definitely going to be a top five because we were top eight last year with a quarterback that wasn't really a mobile quarterback, but he he was able to run it every now and then. Um, now this year, I do I do see Cameron Petway getting the start over Carry On Johnson. Just how just because Cameron Petway had a strong end of the season, he had let's see here one two three four five games. Over 150 yards with 236 coming against Ole Miss. I mean, come on, dude. That's nuts. 236 rushing yards against one team. The week before that, he had 192 against Arkansas and then 173 against Vanderbilt. I mean, if that's not consistency, I don't know what it is, guys. Not to mention he had 169 against Mississippi State. <clears throat> now... Like, like I said, I do believe we will have the number one rushing offense in the league, and I don't believe Carryon Johnson will play just running back. I do believe he will be put in the, the slot position. I, I do believe he will be running the reverse and the wildcat a lot more often than he did last year. And just, just the fact that you add in Jarrett Stidham, I mean, that's adding another running threat to an already potent running threat. I mean, guys, we're in such a good situation right now, and I cannot see us going downhill from last year to this year. Um, I just see us going up, up, and up. Now, I do believe that after this year, both Carryon Johnson and Cameron Petway do go to the NFL. Uh, if any one of them is to return, I do believe it would be Cameron Petway because other than this coming year, he's only had six, seven starting games out of two full years. Um so yeah, that's my take on uh, this year's running backs. Uh, next video I got coming up is going to be on the de defensive linemen, so keep an eye out for that. Uh, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe button, and just let me know what you guys think. War Damn Eagle.